these guys, they do anything for a honey bun or a soup. Yeah, give them a water deal. They go, they go say anything. They go say anything. Wilson. Date of birth, please. 12 16 67. Also present is State Attorney Colleen Dunn and Defense Attorney on behalf of Mr. Wilson, Ana Gomez Malata. Mr. Wilson, do you swear and affirm that everything you're about to tell me is true and accurate to the best of your knowledge? Yes, sir. Okay, what I'd like you to do is kind of go through the, the day, the events, and everything leading up to it. I'm going to kind of just let you go. I may prompt you here and there, ask a couple of questions. About let me get an overview first, please. Yes, sir. Well, I'm on like, i will say 4 o'clock that day. Um, I was at home. And, um, well, well, prior to this, before it happened, it was planned. It was me, you know what I'm saying, Tucker, a few other guys, Kilo, um, Steve, Tony, in um, April. When you say April, do you know not it, your girlfriend? Not my girlfriend, but... I guess or they, she go by everybody's name and and the May Clay. Okay. She she known around South Island. And everybody that you just named was present at this meeting. Was present. And a, this was except for the except for the um, the kilo. Except for kilo. Yeah. And this meeting was you said prior to when you prior, said prior for to the, what a week a day an hour. Um, the day, the day. The same day as. The same day. As. Okay, just like so several hours before. Yeah, several, well, yeah, several hours. Okay. Several hours. Okay. Okay. And where did this meeting take place? Upstairs, um, at the, at the warehouse apartment when I was staying at, upstairs. Okay. On my place I was living. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. And um, it was a discussion about, you know what I'm saying, drugs being there. And um, when you say being there, sorry, I gotta walk me through a pretty good. Uh, being where? Being at the, the place where the crown is going to happen at. Okay. It was, you know, it was supposed to be going in, grab me, snatch, and leave. Who were you supposed to, or who was supposed to be having stuff taken from him? Um, it's at, located at a place where Paula used to reside at. Okay. She stayed there, up in the treehouse, that's what they call it. Gotcha. Perfect. So, um, you know, it was planned, so then prior to after that, I went over there and bought, you know what I mean, a, a small quantity of weed. Okay. Prior to the, the crime happening. Same day. At Same the day. Okay. So I go back to my house then. I get the word from Tucker that tonight's the night. And then we see me, him, and Johnson proceeds. When he told you tonight, tonight, was it just, did he say it to just you or was anybody else present at that time? It was me and Johnston. All three of you? All three of us. Okay. What did Johnson do before you guys left? What Johnson did, he he, um, he handed um, Tyrone a knife. Matter of fact, first he, he took the knife out of his bag and wiped his fingerprints off of it. Who did that? Travis. Oh, Travis. And gave it to Tucker. Okay. Did you see what the knife looked like at all or was it too dark? No, it was it was it was light in the room. It right. was it was um some it was like a I think a red and black knife and it was it was some, like a dive knife. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So you know, and he handed it to Tucker. You know, and uh, we proceeded in the truck. So once in the truck, we went to the treehouse, parked at CVS, and scoped it out. You put, okay, I got you. Looked at could we across from. CVS was the treehouse, so we watched. During that time, it was two police cars in okay. the parking lot. So we drove off, around a block, a few times until the police left. We went there. Johnson dropped us off at the corner. We walked up there, you know what I'm saying? Well, we met Kilo, he was already you came for the pen. where you parked the truck exactly? Right there around my five feet from the corner. Okay, like before, like so, which corner? 
like where you were right across from the CVS or you? Well, we was, you know, the father's like, was with that seven, our second half, you know what I'm saying? So, Josh said, Josh, we proceeded to walk up there. We met the third guy, known as Kilo. Where were you when you met him at? We was inside the gate inside when this time okay. it was dark. Okay. He came from over the fence. It's a hole back there where you can jump the gate okay. over there. So after that, we went upstairs. And um, I was the last one. It was Kilo, Tyrone, then me. Okay. We went upstairs first thing. Now, when you say upstairs, I know the treehouse has two different levels. You have obviously ground, middle, and top. Right. Where were you all? All the way up to the top. All the way up to the top. Okay. Where are where, um, the victim parlor okay. was, you know, sleeping up there. Okay. And that's why they called it the tree house, I guess. So I'm, I'm not sure. So it, when we went up there, by the time I got up to the steps, Kilo had went to the parlor. He had his hair around the neck. You know what I'm saying? Then um, there's another guy up there. Okay. There's another guy up there. I don't know him, but there's another guy up there. And um, Kilo was telling them to, um, let me see, Kid was telling them, him to, um, he better not say shit, or what he said, but he had Paul around the neck. Okay. Tyrone was by the stairs. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's when the old man. And where were you exactly? Kind of off? I was, I was really behind. Okay. Behind, this, you know, serving, kind of looking out, I ain't right. gonna lie. Looking right. out, over, you know, over the L, making sure Nobody, you know what I'm saying, else is coming. Tyrone at the corner, at the top of the steps. You know what I'm saying, Tyrone. The old man was fighting with Tyrone. Is this a different old man than the one you just described? This is the man, the one who got killed. Okay, but you said that Ty Tyrone had said... It's a different, yeah, okay. this is a different one. It Tyrone was, said something to a guy, said you better not... Sit. That, yeah. was, that was someone else. That was somebody else. Okay. Then another old man, I don't know his name, but another old man, they got sort of like a tussle. There, where I saw Tyrone pull out his knife and start stabbing my man. First, he hit him. I don't know if he hit him with the knife, but I just know I saw his arm swing. Okay. He hit him. I guess the old man, you know, wasn't, didn't fall. And Tyrone just started stabbing him. Gotcha. And I heard the old man screaming and proceeded to go down the steps. But Tyrone was behind him, still, still stopping. Okay. You know, and um, I was in shock, you know what I'm saying? The other guy went over the rail, you know what I'm saying? Who's he, when you say that? Kilo, yeah. Kilo, okay. over the rail. There was a ladder right there. There was a ladder that, okay. right there. Went over the rail, down the ladder, yeah. Okay. And that's the last you saw him? That's the last time I saw him. And then you know, me being in shock, I look at, at down the stairs, I see a body laying there. So I panic. Was, I, was uh, not Travis. Was uh, Ty Tucker gone? Ty was gone. He's the first one to go down. Did you see him run off? Or? I seen him run off. Okay. I seen him run off. Did he run towards the same place that y'all come from? I Maybe? seen I seen Tyrone run out the gate and go. The same way we in the direction of the truck. Yeah, because okay. you can it's like an overlook when you're that high you can see on the street. So I seen him. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. So then I was in shock, like I told you. I panicked. I jumped off over the body. And then I went out the gate and I, I ran. Where I met Travis at Tom Thumb, he asked me where um Tyrone. Well I'm like, I don't know where he at. Wasn't he, wasn't he supposed to be with you? And then we were here to walk down the street to, to the apartment. Okay. You know, that's what happened. And then <clears throat> once you got back to the apartment? I went to my apartment. Yep. Through calm down, relax. We put some, you know, cold water. Just, you know, I was in shock. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because I, you know, I didn't even saw nobody get killed. Like, that ran from my face. Right. So, um, then I went upstairs. Once I got upstairs, I seen Travis sitting at the table. Tyrone come out the room. So I started going off on both of them. Like, what the fuck y'all doing? You know? When when Tucker came out of that room, did he have anything with him? He had a black a black backpack in his hand. Okay. You know, and um, which he threw to Johnson. 
Okay. And that's when I started cussing them out. Like, man, y'all crazy, motherfucker. What the fuck y'all got me into? Y'all got to get the hell up out of here. Well, I'm going to call the police myself. That's what I told them. Then I proceeded to go downstairs. What they did after that, I don't know. Did you say anything about um, the male victim that you saw on the second floor that that Tucker had stabbed you saying? Yeah, I said, man, why you, I said, man, why you kill that man, bro? He was like, I had to. Okay. I'm like, man, y'all get the fuck up out of here, man. And that's the, and then I went downstairs, and the next morning, I went to work. Did Tucker say anything to you and Travis about what had happened and keeping quiet? Yeah, he was like, if everybody's keep their mouth closed, they ain't never find out. I said, man, get the hell up out of here. Y'all got to go. That's the last thing I said to him. Okay. Tell us about the conversation. You said it was planned earlier. Tell us about that conversation. Well, it was like, you know, the guy Kilo, the reason this was planned because Tyrone and Johnson was giving some dope. They messed it up. I guess they smoked it, whatever they did with it. They didn't have it. My man wanted it. He wanted his money back. So. How much dope was it, do you know? What they, what they gave it to him or that, what they supposed yeah. to get that night? Yeah, that they screwed, the amount they screwed up. I don't know, is it? I don't know the whole mom, but it's, it, it was, you know, the way the conversation was going, it had to be a nice quantity of it, gotcha. you know what I'm saying? And, um, shit, um. How they, did they know that, how did they know that going to the treehouse they would get stuff? Because prior to that day, Tucker said he had a conversation, you know what I'm saying, with an um, individual, and he knew it was supposed to be there that day. So that's where... We going in to get it, grab, snatch it, grab and go. You know what I mean? Yeah. As far as the conversations that I had around on people upstairs prior to this happening, that's how I went. And was Travis part of that conversation? No, Travis, uh, he wasn't, he was just put like that he was in and out right. on the beer run. Yeah. It was a lot of, you know, a lot of beer drinking up there. Did you do anything to try and um with, when they were having that conversation, did you do something to try and save that conversation? Which, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I tried to record. I had a phone, an old phone up there. What phone was it that you It was it? my phone. I what had a it look like? It was, the, um, it was a black phone. It was, was it a black phone? It, it was not the phone that I took from you? No, nah, no. Nah, that, was, that was my personal cell phone. Okay. You know, it was another phone because yeah. um, I wanted to record it because I had planned it, you know what I'm saying? If anything, you know, happened, I was going, you know, turn it into the authorities. So I ain't gonna lie. You know what, what, I mean? what conversation did you record? The one, the one that happened a week prior, or the one that night? The night. That night. The night. The one that night. When Tucker said it's. It's that time. It's tonight's the night. Is it possible for Tucker or for Travis to have known you recorded that conversation? It could have been. It could have been. Probably because I, I think I was acting a little nervous. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie. You know, I, they knew that, you know, they knew that I probably was up to something. Tell us about the relationship between Tucker and Travis. Were they friends? Yeah, they was friends. They was hanging out, buddies. You know, them, like I said, how they met, for my, for my, how I, I take it, how they met was doing drugs together, doing little stuff together. Because even, even the night of the, um, what that stuff called the, on the fest where they get naked and stuff on be on fantasy, fantasy fest? fest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, seriously. Tyrone told me that he had did a job. He had did a job there that night. You know what I'm saying? Him and some guys had robbed somebody. Okay. And they, you know what I'm saying? To the guys, that, the guy in the bushes, you know, for the adult thing, and they robbed the guy. Okay. You know, so that was it about that. You Do you know, know if Tucker knows Todd of Quinn? Yeah, they, they yeah, they bodies. How do you know that? Because Tucker told me, told me about he called, he go about Hollywood, and then I saw him in front of my place talking. You know what I'm saying? When was that in relation to when? A few days before. A few days before. Before this even happened. Yeah, a few days. He was there on the orange and black bike. Okay. And um, he was like, "That's my homeboy from Marathon." Gotcha. So, you know, that's how I knew they, they knew then. Tucker told me he should stay there at the treehouse. All of them lived together. All of them was friends. 
a big circle. So Anthea Clay was at the first meeting when it was discussed what you were going to do? Yeah, she was up there. Um, she wasn't there the night no, that no. Tucker said it's a go. Mm -mm, mm -mm, she wasn't there. She was up there um, prostituting. In one of the rooms. And what in in the that first conversation when it was first discussed, um, the one you didn't record, what was the what was the plan? I mean, it was just with any details like we're going to go in and grab it. Yeah, we're the pl gonna... plans was that we just go in there. Hollywood told Tucker where it's going to be at the stash place. We go in and get it and just leave. Where was that stash place? It was right under the steps, the bottom of the treehouse. It was, okay. It's like a, I guess it's like a, a air conditioner, some some there. I forget what was there, but that's where it's supposed to be, underneath. Okay. And then Tucker was like, "Who go re, who go report it? It's drugs. They can't get in trouble. Ain't the dope man go no send it? What they gonna do? Say somebody robbed me for drugs? Right. But but you guys went upstairs though. So if the drugs were gonna be on the bottom, why did why did you guys go upstairs? Because that's what. what that's where we was led, where Tucker led us. So, so maybe he knew somebody I didn't know. So you know was just following Tucker? I was just following. Right? The reason I was doing this is because by Tucker, not him and Charles messing up the, all the man's money, right. he's going to kill everybody in the house, including my my, my baby's, uh, my son's mother. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's what it was about. You know, that's the reason I went there, because I was scared for my girl, right. you know, my child. That's the truth. You were scared that because Tucker and Travis screwed up by this guy, um, right. Kilo, that Kilo was going to come and retaliate take and kill. Him. He said he's going to kill everybody in the house if he ain't have his money. Okay. So, you know. And that first, the only time you met Kilo or saw Kilo was that night. When That's it. That's the only time. Did you ever see him after? Well, yeah. on that day, yeah. yeah and the other well. night we did, it went down. You know, that's the only time. And if you can best describe, is he white, black? He's a black guy with a heavy. Than me, I know he's taller than me. You know, I'm I short. That I don't I say around about in his late 30s. Yeah, he's not no young guy. Anything distinctive at all about it you can think of? Mm, not really. You know what I'm saying? Do you have an accent or anything? Country. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I call, I'm from up north, so <laughs> I talk really. country. <laughs> You know, he from Miami, you know. So I can say he from Miami. It's tough, you know, you know what I mean? So, you know. He used to do what? He's from Miami when he was down here. He was selling drugs. He's a big drug. Out of where? Out of Miami. Out, well, he was selling drugs at Roy's Trailer Park. Okay. You know what I mean? So, you know. He had a queen what name mentioned Chico Black. You know, that's all I know about that. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I was working. Yeah. Only one working out to hold this whole situation. I'm the only one who had the job. You and know. your girlfriend, April, um, she, did you tell her anything about No, because, you know, I didn't tell her because for her safety. If she don't know nothing, she can't tell nothing, right? I mean, that's the same. You know, if you don't know nothing, you can't talk. So that night when she saw Tucker changing his clothes and she came and told you, and you told her to mind her own business, was that so she... That was for her just to mind her own business and keep her mouth closed. Let me handle it. Mm -hmm. If it comes some some down to it, you know, like, the, you know... You just want her to have... I don't want her, had no, she ain't had nothing to do with it. You know what I'm saying? She wasn't a partner, she don't know nothing about it. She just said what well, she saw. That's what she is, she gonna tell the truth. And that first night when you were interviewed, um, why didn't you come forward with all Because she was out there and then it was individuals a part of this was still loose, and I was going to protect her and my child. So you were worried if you told us the truth that yeah. something would happen to her yeah. and the child? Yes, yeah, sir. And I didn't want that. You know, that's her first child, you know what I mean? Why are you talking to us today? Because I just want justice. I mean, I, you know, I feel bad, you know. I feel bad about it, you know what I'm saying? It ain't have to happen like that. It was just senseless, you know what I'm saying? Have we promised or offered you anything? No. No, it's on, it's on me. It's my conscience. You know what I mean? It's on, it's on my, you know, it's my conscience. I'm a man. You know what I'm saying? But I just want justice. No cost. Are you concerned about Mr. Tucker um, being out on bond? Or? Yeah, if he get out on bond, if he sell her once, and me at the end part of seeing how this man is, the man is sick. You know, like I say, he got to... 
you know what I'm saying, in the cell, it was told me he had a picture of two dead bodies and knives, you know what I'm saying? But somebody told me that, his old, you know, cellmate. But yeah, I'm worried. If he tell my great old killer and my son, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm, I'm afraid, where she's scared. Have you heard any, being in jail, have you heard anything that he's saying about you? Or? Oh yeah, he trying to say, you know, cause he got a little bit of money. He think he can buy these guys and hand these, these guys, they do anything for a honey bun or a soup. Yeah, get them a water deal. They go, they go say anything. You know, y'all ain't promised me nothing. This is on me. No, but if you heard that Tucker's saying anything about you, like, is there anything coming back? Oh, yeah, he just tell everybody that, you know what I'm saying, I done this, you know, he go, he go, he go, he'll pay them if he did he say this and stuff. Him and Travis. Yeah, same. They say they go, you know, they pay him if they write a statement against me. You know? What about, have they said anything, has Tucker said anything about if he gets out hurting? Have you heard anything that he's threatened your family at all since he's been in here? You're well, that, that, um, I have, I, I heard that, you know what I'm saying? He got some un, some unfinished business out there. That's the only thing. What do you mean by that? I don't know, but coming from somebody like him, it can mean that he's going after my family because she, she a witness against him and she's scared, you know? Before they arrested him, didn't he and he confront your wife? Yeah, he confronted my wife. And took, she was scared because she, of that? She was scared. She was scared. She so you're afraid that if he gets out, he's going to follow through? Yeah, he go, he go finish her so mm -hmm. she won't testify against her. And that's the conversation you and April had. That's when you went to jail... You actually approached one of the detention deputies and you were concerned right. when, you, when you saw that he was arrested. Right. Yeah. And that day, did he make did he make some threat to you or remember the day he was arrested? You were all in first appearances. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, what happened that you were that that drove you to tell the detention deputy that you needed to speak to them? Because what he had said to me tomorrow, yeah, you know April's still out there and your son. No, he told me. Now we stick it to the. What was uh, if you can give me any kind of context? Like, was he saying that you know that they didn't get arrested that they were out there, or that they're in trouble and that he was going to get them? Type? More like he they in trouble. Okay. Like that. More like like that. He in trouble. They in trouble. You know, he's sick, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I regret even knowing to meet him. You know, that's that's just the truth, under God truth. You know. And did Kilo, was Kilo wearing a mask? Yeah, Kilo was wearing a mask. And you weren't wearing a mask, you were wearing something covering your face? Just covering my, my, my nose and my mouth. And then was Tuck, did Tucker wear something covering his face? Kirker had like, like a, like a, a like a, a hunting mask thing on, a hunting mask on. It wasn't no, it wasn't no bandana, it was like a mask thing with, you know, some designs on, but like I said, I, I Not a Halloween it. mask or anything. Nah, no, nah, no. Nah, it was nah. the only one that had like a somewhat of a Halloween mask. Was, was, was Kilo. Kilo, Kilo, yes, you know, Kilo. And you said you and you're saying you physically saw with my own eyes. I saw him. I saw him. First I can say you swung on him. And then I seen him stabbing him. You know what I mean? And I seen I heard the guy scream. And he turned going out there and the tuck was behind him, still stabbing him. I saw this with my eyes. You know? When you went down the stairs um, after Tucker, did you did you um, see anyone else like Todd or Quinn or anyone else on the property? There wasn't nobody there. Okay. I went, because matter of fact, I grabbed the rail and, and hopped over the body. Okay. Yeah. I grabbed the rail and hopped over the body because I was concerned about the blood on my shoes. And I shut out the game. Why, you know, that was it. And prior to you jumping over the body, you, from where you were standing, you could see that Ty had already left. Yeah, he, he the first so one. There, right, so there was a little bit of time in between yeah. you, him leaving and you leaving. I was in shock. Oh, no, I was okay. stuck. I understand. No, 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 it's a time. It's just the I was, I was stuck. You know, I'm like, oh, I can't believe this happened. I ain't signed up for this. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I feel bad. I ain't gonna lie, I feel bad. Some, you know, innocent person, if, you know, it's, it's stupid, man, you know what I mean? Well, I think this... Will I'm ashamed. Right. Okay, I'm sure. Yeah. Anything I didn't ask you that I should have that you can think of? If not, I'm going to go ahead and turn everything off. No, that's, that's... Roy, do you swear and affirm that everything you're about to tell me is true and accurate to the best of your knowledge? Yes, sir. And you've been advised your Miranda rights already? You have counsel present? 
Yes, sir. Are you willing to talk to us now? Yes, sir. All right. If you would, please take me back to the events leading into the, the murder of Matthew Bonnet. Well, the night of the 17th, you know, me, my, me, myself, um, Travis, Tyrone Tucker, we went to the treehouse. You know, Travis drove us over there. Me and Tyrone went up there. I'm gonna back you up just a little bit. I'm sorry to cut you off. Prior to going to the treehouse, what was what was the game plan? What had been talked about? What information did you have that the reason you were going to the treehouse? Well, Tyrone and I, you know, I, you know, what's her name on? I call her April. I know it's that's April. I don't know her real name. Okay. She said the whole thing though. I orchestrated about telling us, you know, what was what. So the attention was going to go find a big quantity of drug. Okay. For themselves, you know, for them. That was the attention was for. Okay. So we went over there that night. Went up there, you know. But I had a mask on. You say you had a. Mask on. Are you referring to yes. this mask right here? The skull mask. That's what I was wearing. Okay. Okay. I had a knife in my hand. Can you describe the knife to me a little bit, please? It was black candle, all black. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And um, Tyrone had a knife. Okay. But Do you remember the knife that Tyrone had? Yeah, it was like a dive knife. Do you yeah. recognize it being this knife? Yes, yes sir. That's, that's it right there. Do you know how Tyrone Tucker came and became, had this knife? Yeah, it was um, a knife that um, Travis had, you know, at home, you know what I'm saying? Travis gave him the knife. I saw him. I saw uh, he gave him the knife. Okay. Inside the truck. Yeah. All right. Yeah, inside the truck, he gave him that knife. Yeah. Had you ever seen that knife before? Yeah, it was at the house upstairs where they was living at. Had you ever used the knife? One time I had it on, um, that knife was, we was playing, you know, throwing a knife at the dartboard. Okay. You know, and um, that's the first time I saw the knife. And you used this knife? Yeah, I, I threw it at the dartboard. I'm gonna give you a pen if you would. Uh Ink part of the pen up there is the top is the blade of the knife. Okay. Could you use the knife or yeah. the pen to demonstrate? Yeah. That's how we was. And that's how you would have held yeah, it I like that. Just throwing the knife so it can flip into the into the dirt So you're holding it uh, at right the, the very end of the, the pot yeah. and hold, uh, throwing it so that the, the so it would stick in the wall. Yeah. You would have held it somewhere back yes, in the part. That's exactly where I held it so it can flip. And you were playing with the knives as like darts with it's somebody darts. else. It was, you know, a few of them, I, we had that knife along with several other knives. Yeah. Okay. That's our recognize. Okay, thank you. Keep going. So, you know, we went up there and uh, we encountered, you know, Paula and uh, Roger. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, <clears throat> I went and uh, held Paula, my grandfather. You know what I'm saying? By the neck, having it, the knife under her neck, so it don't move. Was she fighting with you, moving around? Tussling. Okay. You know, she was moving, you know what I'm saying? You know, it wasn't my attention to cut her. Right. She was really scared. And this is the cut that you're referring to right here? Yeah. Lord knows I, I didn't even mean to cut her, you know, so I, that was not intentionally. Right. I didn't have that, you know, going in to, cut her, to hurt nobody, in and out. Your only intention of going there was just a robbery to get the Well, no, the well, just going there without doing any harm to nobody. Right. That's my intention, you know. So then, um, after that, you know, that's when um, um, the guy got killed by body. That's when he came up the stairs. You were still dealing with Paula yeah. when he came up the yeah. stairs. Yeah. So who, who encountered Bonnet then? Oh, that would be Tucker. He okay. kind of, you know what I'm saying? He was fighting with the man. They was tussing. 
Were you able to look over it all and see yeah. what was happening? Yeah, I was looking right at him. I was facing, okay. these were my, like, I'd say 10 feet apart. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But I had visual what's going on. He's struggling with my kill. You know what I'm saying? He punched him. You know what I'm saying? Then, took the knife and started stabbing him. And it was the same knife that you got to yeah. this knife here? That knife right there. Okay. You know, that's, that's what happened. Then when he did that, he took off and ran. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You know, he, not, he just up and left you? He just left. You were still at the very top of the treehouse when he took off running? I was at the top of the treehouse with Paula. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Were you guys wearing gloves? Yeah, I had gloves on. I had black gloves on, late test gloves. That's what I had on. Do you what know if Tucker that? had gloves on? Um, like he had gloves on too. All of us had gloves on. Okay. Even even Johnson had gloves on. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Even he had a guard who was in his truck. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The one was tied up, you know what I'm saying? Right. And to clarify, for the robbery itself, I know April was the one who gave you the information to set up the robbery. Right. To commit the robbery, it was you, Johnson, which is Travis. And Tucker. And Tucker, and you were the only three? Okay. Yeah. So, after he takes off running, when he took off running, did he have anything with him when he was running besides, did he still have the knife? If you don't know, I, yeah, I don't, don't know. Just I don't. I don't know. I don't want to guess. You know, I just want to tell you what I what I saw, what I know. You know what I mean? Okay. I, do, I really. You don't, don't know, know if he took off with anything. I don't know. You understand what I know when he came. When I'm. All right, we'll get to that. Okay. So he takes off, and what do you do next? I go down there and look, and I see my man laying down there dead. You know, I'm in shock. So I leave. Do you leave out the same way as out the front as you came in? Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. And when you go out the front, do you, which way do you go at that point? You go to the right? I go to the right. Okay. I go to the right. Back towards, like if you were going back to the warehouse? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Of course, um, Tom, Tom, that's where I meet Travis at. Okay. What about, what do you do with this mask? Do you remember? Yeah. Um, Take the mask off and it's a boat right there. Okay. I put it in the boat. Okay. I did that. Okay. I ran up. I did it. You know what I mean? All right. Well, like I said, it's not my intention to hurt nobody. Right. You know what I'm saying? I don't you know. Actually, it's just like really like a forced thing. You know what I'm saying? You know, I was scared for my son and his mother. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. You know, that's why I did it. I was scared for my family. Okay. You know. And then you, you said you from you dropped us on a boat and then you go to the Tom Thumb, which is where you meet Travis? I meet Travis. Okay. And then what do you and Travis do? We go to the apartment, back to the apartment. And when you go, which is the warehouse, correct? The warehouse. Okay. You go back there. Is Ty there when you get there? No, Ty not there. How much? Give me, if you can, an estimate until how long until he arrives. Probably around about, I'll say, five to ten minutes. Okay. Does he have anything with him when he arrives this time? He got a, a black backpack. Is this? That's it right there. That's it. Okay. That's it. Did he say anything about maybe whose backpack this is or anything like that? He came in is that worth like look what I got. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And then after that he got into it. You know what I'm saying? About him killing that man. Did he tell you why he killed him? Was it was the guy said, trying to kill him or? He said he, it had to be done. So. We came on his mom, but it had to be done. Right. And then I went downstairs. That was it. Okay. And then the next morning I went to work. And, you know, in Big Pine. That's what I was doing at the time. I was working. Okay. You know what I mean? I, the next morning I went to work. What Maybe. did you do with your knife? Do you remember? Yeah, I brought it back to the house. Okay. Yeah, brought it back to the house. When we did a search warrant, it was. Was it still in the house as far as you know at that time? It's probably so, because I, you know, I, I didn't go nowhere. I stayed at home. Right. You know, like I did before, prior to this, this incident, okay. I stayed at home. I went to work, took care of my family, made sure they were straight. You know what I mean? So I did. I had a baby on the way. You know what I'm saying? I came down here and did what people have done for years and couldn't do. I got a house in a month. I, I worked my butt off. You know what I'm saying? To get a place for 
my son month. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Now I can in Key West to get away from the big city life. You know, somewhere right. small. I thought it was quiet. Till I get home here and realize it wasn't. You know, and that's the truth right there, boy. You know what I'm saying? I regret this happened. You know, I hope she can forgive me. Cause I didn't mean to do it, man. I know. I didn't. Let me back up. I forgot to ask you one thing real quick. When Bonnet, the victim, came up the stairs, and you, you, you said you could see him fighting with Tucker, yeah. did Bonnet have a knife or anything that you saw? Did he have anything at all in his hands? Or? I mean, he had nothing, man. He didn't have anything? He had nothing. He's an old man just trying to... He's safe, man. Can you explain why you mentioned that there was a... A kilo in our last conversation. Um, just, just tell us the truth. I, know, I was scared, man, because you know my my son and his mother out there. You know, and Tyrone. You know a lot of people. You know, say so when I first met him, he just tell me a little bit about his background. He a pirate. Stuff he didn't did. You know what I'm saying? In the past, even fast, he fast. How you rob somebody in fancy fast, you know, just brag. You know, like he just, that's what he do. He just brag, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it's fun for him. You know what I mean? I made a mistake. So there is no kilo? No, there ain't no kilo. I just was scared for my family. You know, my son, man, and his mother. And, and, You've made a statement knowing that there's no, there's been no offer, there's no, no. A contract or agreement there's with no our offer, business. nothing, you know. I'm a man, so I made a mistake. I just, I just want to do right. By, you know, myself and my higher power, you know. Ain't no offer, be higher powers mean nothing. I'm doing this on my own. Mm. Come clean. And that's it. Is there anything that we didn't ask you that we should have that you can think of at this time? No, uh, it's just, that's all it sums it up. All right, I'm going to go ahead and talk to the recording, son. Is there, there any other, do you have any, is there anything else you want to no, say? No, I'm fine. Thank okay. you. Yeah. All right, Rory, I appreciate you meeting with us today. If you would, can you go over with us when you're leaving the treehouse after, after the murder robbery? Can you tell me what happened? Where'd you go? All of that. Take me through the rest of the night. Okay, well, after I left the treehouse, um, after I ran from the treehouse, and um, I ran up the street, I think it was like 2nd Street, and I ran up to the town, thumb way. I see Travis up there. Um, he asked me um, where Tyrone at. I told him I don't know. So we, from there, we walked down 2nd Street to the, um, to the apartment. Okay. Once we got there, she went upstairs, I went downstairs, you know what I'm saying, then I, I went back up, you know what I'm saying, Ty come out the front room with a backpack, you know what I'm saying. There, the money came out. So out I started, of the backpack? Out of the backpack. I started cussing Tyrone out. Like, man, why you do that shit, bro? That shit wasn't even necessary. When you say, do that. What are you why you why you stare at that man? You ain't have to do that. Okay. That's what I do. So I cussed him out. You know? You know, I left. I went back downstairs. I didn't know this man was dead until the next day. Okay. You know what I mean? When you're upstairs talking and the book bag comes out, was there any comments, one, about whose book bag it was? And what did the book bag look like? It was a black book bag, and um, Tyrone told me this is what we got. Okay. Case, you know what I'm saying? It was before I went off on him. Alright. You know what I'm saying? And Travis was there? Travis is there. Okay. All three of us are there. And takes the money out? It takes the money out. What's done with the money then? It's, it's, it's put in three pounds. I don't want it. I leave. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I go downstairs. So I stay there all night. Okay. Until the next day, I'm going out, you know, just to get some fresh. No, matter of fact, I'm going to work. I'm waiting for my boss to come pick me up. Right after this happened, the next one, I go to work, the big pine. Okay. And I come in, if you want to check that out, because 
that even I got up around about 6.30 and I catch the bus back to Key West. So therefore, it had my face on the bus. So that was it. Okay. <clears throat> that was it. Do you know a person, a female by the name of Anthea Clay goes by April Clay? Have you heard that name before? Yeah, I heard her because um, my buddy, um, David Grove, stayed upstairs. She used to come over there with him, and he used to pay her to have sex with him. She used to tell him I never saw it, but I remember seeing her one time I was up there, and she was up there for David Gross, the other guy they called Detroit, not me. I don't even know this lady. I never had a conversation with this lady, period. Never. And there's never been any kind of sexual relationship never. or anything like that? Never. I, never. I wouldn't, even, I wouldn't even touch something like that. You know what I'm saying? To be honest. Right. And just to clarify, when you met Travis um, after you left the treehouse, before you went to the warehouse with him, is is that what that video that you've seen that we've is that yeah. that you and Travis walking? Yeah, the video that my lawyer saw on show me um, that's me and Travis walking down back to the apartment that night. Okay, and you had already discarded the knife in the um, the mask by then. Yes. Okay, yeah. so you were whatever you were wearing is what you were wearing when you went there. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Anything else we didn't ask you that we should have? I see. Ms. Gomez, do you have any other questions or anything to add? I do not. Thank you. Okay. We'll terminate. Thank you. I'm going to hold on one second.